Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between gaseous diffusion and gas centrifuge techniques. Working principle of both the gaseous diffusion and gas centrifuge processes is based on the slight mass difference between uranium-235 and uranium-238 isotopes. Gaseous diffusion is a technology used to produce enriched uranium, by forcing gaseous uranium hexafluoride through semi-permeable membranes. Gas centrifuge is a uranium enrichment process, used to prepare uranium for use in fabricating fuel for nuclear reactors, by separating its isotopes, as gases, based on their slight difference in mass. So, let's look into the basic differences between gaseous diffusion and gas centrifuge techniques in a tabular form. Difference number 1, in gaseous diffusion process. A semi-permeable membrane is used to sieve uranium hexafluoride gas having higher concentration of uranium-235 from the natural concentration uranium hexafluoride gas, whereas, in gas centrifuge process, a centrifuge, or rotating cylinder, is used to separate heavier molecules, uranium-238, from the lighter molecules, uranium-235. Number 2, in gaseous diffusion process. Isotope separation is obtained by means of atomic diffusion following the Graham's law of effusion. Uranium-235, being the lighter molecule, parses the membrane more rapidly, whereas, gas centrifuge technique is not based on the Graham's law, rather separation is obtained owing to varying rate of centripetal acceleration experienced by gas molecules of different masses. Uranium-235, being the lighter molecule, remains close to the center of the centrifuge. Number 3, in gaseous diffusion process, enriched uranium is obtained inside the membrane enclosure, while depleted uranium is obtained outside the enclosure, whereas, in gas centrifuge process, enriched uranium is obtained close to the axis of the centrifuge, while depleted uranium is obtained towards the wall of the centrifuge. Number 4, in gaseous diffusion process the uranium hexafluoride gas is maintained at high pressure higher than atmospheric pressure, whereas, in gas centrifuge process the uranium hexafluoride gas is maintained at low pressure, usually lower than atmospheric pressure. Number 5, the chance of UF6 gas leakage to the atmosphere is high. Thus the process is inherently associated with the risk of spreading radioactive elements in the air, whereas, the chance of UF6 gas leakage to the atmosphere is low as the gas in the pipeline is maintained at a pressure lower than atmospheric pressure, so any leakage will lead to the inward flow of air into the pipeline. Number 6, gaseous diffusion is time-consuming and costly process, whereas, gas centrifuge is a productive and cost-efficient process. Number 7, earlier, gaseous diffusion technique was popular and had been used extensively for uranium enrichment. Whereas, nowadays, gas centrifuge technique is used overwhelmingly across the world for uranium enrichment. Number 8, gaseous diffusion plants are usually of large size and can process tons of fuels in one step, whereas, gas centrifuge plants can be small scale that can process few tens of kilogram fuel in one step. Number 9, owing to its large size, certain activities of gaseous diffusion plants can be monitored remotely. Thus these plants are less risky for proliferation perspective, whereas, gas centrifuge facilities can be operated in in-house mode, and thus it becomes difficult to remotely monitor any activity of such plants. This possesses the risk of nuclear proliferation. And, difference number 10, gaseous diffusion plants typically require large amount of electrical power for its operation. Whereas, power consumption per unit mass of enriched uranium is significantly less in gas centrifuge plants, 